Have you ever heard the term house hacking? Probably. If you haven't, are you intrigued? Because you should be. Hi, I'm Rachel Kilmer. I'm a real estate agent licensed in both Kansas and Missouri, and I am joined today by Aubrey Washington of Flat Branch Home Loans to talk you through house hacking and how that can be a great home buying strategy in the Kansas City market. We're going to dive into all the details and what this actually could look like for you. Let's jump right in. knows it is incredibly expensive to buy a house right now right um, you've been doing loans for quite a while mm -hmm. I what is your experience tell you about kind of how tough the market is right now for someone to get into is it harder than you've ever seen it right now I, or I think this is the probably the hardest time I've ever seen people well the, not just this year the last several years have been yeah. the hardest yeah um, you know we're looking at like I said I always say that affordability is a problem right now you've mm -hmm. got higher rates and higher prices and um, so we're trying to get creative with people mm -hmm. on ways to finance smarter mm -hmm. um, and house hacking is one of those tools. Right. So yes, the interest rates are higher than they've been in quite mm -hmm. some time. The cost, like the actual sale prices of homes just keep climbing. There's a shortage of inventory. So you may be thinking, I want to be in the home ownership game, but how do I get in it? House hacking is one way to do that. What is house hacking? Explain kind of in layman's terms yes. what house hacking is. Four things. You buy a house, um, buy a home that's a two to four unit. So you've got, you know, two to four units on that property. Um, you're going to live in one unit and you're going to rent out the other, you know, the units. Mm -hmm. and so that in turn essentially either reduces or completely eliminates your own housing payment. So you could have three other units and that rent is paying your payment. Mm -hmm. um, and then you redo, mm -hmm. rinse and repeat. Yeah. There you um, go. So you can actually do that strategy as an, because you have to be an owner occupant of, of one of those units, but you could literally do that every 12 months. So to cool. build an investment, I mean, you build a well. I mean, build an investment portfolio of real estate. Hopefully, you like moving though. <laughs> you yeah. get ready yeah. to live out of boxes. I actually have clients that are doing. I mean, too. Right. Really. Right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. So you said you have to live there. It's obviously you don't always have to live there. You can just buy a duplex without living there, but then it's a different kind of loan. Yeah. So it's an investment property. Correct. So to have the most palatable loan, you have to live there. And what does that look like in terms of down payment? What kind of loan is that? Mm -hmm. um, how? What are the rules? It sounds like you have to live there 12 months. Yeah. Kind of what? What are the requirements with that? So the nice thing about house hacking, so it's an owner occupied loan. So what you're occupying one of those units, um, you can rent the other 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 units. Um, you can do an FHA loan that has three and a half percent down, um, and a conventional loan. They just changed their guidelines last year, and you can still you can actually do five percent down now on a two to four unit. So you can get a standard thirty year conventional loan or a FHA loan on either one of those. Um, and then, so I was there's an example we I was sharing with somebody recently that it was a four hundred thousand dollar two unit property, and her rent. So her payment on a, her loan was going to be $3,267 mm -hmm. and the rents she was receiving on that other unit were 2,100. So her net payment is $1,167 a month with, nice. with taxes and insurance. Yeah. So it's a great strategy to, to get in, to start, to be able to own your own home, also use rents to help offset, you know, some of your income. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. That's at the 400 K price point. I can think of one right now on the market. There's a, it's four units, um, kind of in the Hyde park area downtown. Oh, wow. And so the rents on it each, there's three that are rented and they're like less than a thousand each just slightly, but it's like your payment might be covered in full if you can yes. live in that fourth yeah. unit. So yes. yeah. this is, this is a great way if you are kind of a first time home buyer that hasn't gotten spoiled by having living in a big single family home yeah. to, if you're just moving from apartment to apartment, then it doesn't change your lifestyle that much. And you can really, um, build some wealth really quickly with this. So how does this impact your future? So you've been there 12 months mm -hmm. and then you're like, okay, now I want to buy my next fourplex or my single family home. Single family. Um, what, how do you use, like, can you use the rental income from that to count as your income? What so, does yeah, that look like? You can like? use rental income to qualify for a new mortgage. Um, even if, so as you're vacating the unit that you've been living in, once you get a lease agreement in place, you can actually count that as rent as an in income as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so there's, you know, when you go to buy, purchase another home, you would make another down payment, whether it's, you know, th FHA or, or a conventional loan, three and a half or 5%, whatever, wherever you're purchasing. And you could use the equity in that property that you've, uh, you've you're been building mm -hmm. to use that as part of your down payment for your new home. I mean, there's lots of options. Once you're building equity, you can use that, you know, however you choose to see fit. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cool. What a slick way to like build wealth, get into the home ownership game without too much out of pocket, both in terms of cash to close and monthly costs. So. Another scenario I have had recently was a client that, um, they, 
they, they already have one owner occupied home that they vacated and now they're using it as an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So they lived, agreed to live there for the first 12 months. Then they converted to an Airbnb, which is, you know, another good way, way to earn a revenue stream, income stream. And then now they're purchasing another single family, but they purchased this single family knowing they purchased it in mission because they know that this is going to be another Airbnb. So they're going to live, agree to live here for the first 12 months, but then they're going to convert it to an Airbnb. So they're, they're building a portfolio and just doing, they're just making those homes. They're like a 12 year res 12 month residence for them. Mm -hmm. Makes it's, sense. Mm -hmm. It's also house hacking. It's not, it's not the yeah. same because you obviously aren't renting out one side of it, but it's another way right. to move and build wealth. But yeah. again, you just have to get lots comfortable of, with moving. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're looking for a house hacking strategy, you're wondering if this would make sense for you, or you just want to buy a house or just say, hi, we're here. <laughs> Slide in the old DMS and we'll do this exact same deal. We'll chat with you and find out what makes sense for you. In the meantime, I'll be here on YouTube giving you the scoop on all things Kansas City. See you next time.